Well, hello. I'm here to present myself in order to get the job of a lifetime experience. That's me. I'm Gaston. I'm actually trying to record this through the computer because obviously, after traveling so much around the world, I've already finished all my gigabytes of each and every single cell phone that I have. So, that's me. Shama or Gaston. Shama is my nickname. My real name is Gaston. And my Instagram account, you can follow it. It's Il Messicano Imbruttito. So, uh, why am I sending this video to you guys? This is because I want to introduce myself as the per perfect person to follow the, this job interview for you guys. I speak four languages and two inches of two other ones. I speak English, Espanol, Italiano, and Francais. Uh, I speak a little bit, a bit of German. And I don't know what to say, but Oh, two. I would like to speak Hebrew a little bit more. So, that's the first reason why I could totally be part of this amazing project. Also, I'm Mexican, so I love giving information about Mexican. I consider myself, of Mexico, I consider myself an ambassador of my own country in the world. And that's my um, MO, my business thing on my own. So, I'm trying to show you my garden, but it's quite late here. There's no way you guys are gonna be able to see it. I'm living in Milan right now. I'm about to finish my a second bachelor degree. The first one was graphic design, so I love doing graphics, photographs, everything that has to do with the design. I love drawing as well. And then, let's see if we can see it with a little bit of light. No, there's no way. Okay. I can tell you, there's a beautiful tree there. There's a huge garden there. Uh, this is my kitchen, where I'm actually showing you where am I. So, I studied graphic design. And then I decided I wanted to move to Italy. So I did my best. And against all the odds, and against all the bureaucracy from Italy, I'm here. And I'm about to finish my second bachelor degree in languages and literature, literature, French languages and literature. It's quite hard to say it in English. È più bello in italiano, lingua letteratura straniera. And uh, it's been amazing since I've been able to travel pretty awesome places. I lived in Israel for six months. I lived in a kibbutz. And I did three months in a kibbutz, three months in Tel Aviv. Then I came back to Italy. And I went back to Israel, then I came back to Italy, then I went to live in Riviera Maya and I lived there three years in a row by the end of each year, 2012, 2013 and 2011, 11, 12 and 13 in Riviera Maya for about three months each year, five months the last one. Uh, it was amazing, I was able to actually go around Riviera Maya and get to know some really cool places, some really cool resorts as well. Um, I pretty much know kind of all the southeast of Mexico, like the main places where to go. All the way up to Mexico City, Guanajuato, San Miguel de Allende, and then a bit of Guadalajara and Zacatecas because I have family everywhere. And what else? Also, well, I have my Instagram account, so you can check all the travels that I've been made, that I've made. And uh, it's really cool. I love traveling, and I really think my mission in this life is to travel and show Mexico's full potential. And to make it happen, this is a really great opportunity to do. I love taking pictures and showing all the beauty of nature in Mexico, all the food that you can eat, all the places that you can go, 
all the life, landscapes that you can see, all the colors that you can admire, all the sunsets, all the sun rises, all the nature, because it's really crazy and it's really beautiful nature from Mexico. And just two months ago, this summertime has been really cool. Two months ago, I was a month in Mexico. I took a Roman friend of mine from Rome, obviously, to Mexico, and we started our trip from Cancun all the way to Tulum, Playa del Carmen, Chichen Itza, Valladolid, Merida, from Merida to Campeche, Campeche, Calakmul, from Calakmul to Escarcega, Escarcega to Palenque, Palenque. We went down to San Cristobal, San Cristobal. In between, we went to the Cascades, to the waterfalls, all the turquoise places. And then we went to Oaxaca, actually, to the natural virgin beaches. And then from there, we went to actually see the Gelaguetza in Oaxaca. And then from Oaxaca, we went to Mexico City. And then we went to San Miguel de Allende. Then we flew back to Chetumal in order to see Chetumal and see a little piece of part of Belize. And then the Laguna de Bacalar. And then we came back to Rome. I stayed a um, whole week in Rome, so I know a bit of Rome if you guys need some uh, advice, some things about Rome. And then I went a uh, week in Salento, the very south part of Italy, the hill from the boot. And then from Salento, I went up to Milan, where I'm living, and then I went to London for a week. And from London I came back, and then last week I was in this beautiful wedding in Tuscany, amazing. Um, for next weekend, I am going for the Fiesta de la Independencia, Mexico's Independence Day, to Berlin. In a castle, very beautiful castle of some friends of mine that bought it, the Ar Berlin, from in the outsides of Berlin. Uh, I love traveling. I love traveling so much. I never get tired. I love showing through social networks, through social media, through my Facebook, through my Instagram, all the beautiful things that Mexico has to offer. Uh, and I'm working on trying to get some more followers in order to actually show what Mexico is really amazing for. And I was also thinking about being a tour guide, international tour guide in Mexico for foreign years in order to see everything that they want from the highest top to the lowest parts of Mexico. And that's it. So that was it. This is my house. It's quite a mess right now because I have to got back here from all my holidays and this has an end up already this this isn't finished I still have a little bit things to do and that's it mm, thank you for listening thank you for following all the eight minutes of presentation it's been quite long this is me Shama el mexicano en brutito the el mexicano en brutecido I think that will be the translation. Au revoir, arrivederci, goodbye, nos vemos, gracias, ciao.